Wake up. Have you ever paused to reflect on the lies you tell yourself? They serve as defense mechanisms, protecting us from confronting our own shadows. So let's dive into the top 10 lies that if left unchallenged, will inevitably deliver a harsh wake-up call. How often have you found yourself saying, I'll start tomorrow? Tomorrow holds the promise of a fresh start, a clean slate where all your past failures and shortcomings can be swept away. But therein lies the danger of this lie. It fosters a sense of false security, allowing you to postpone your goals indefinitely under the guise of waiting for the perfect moment to begin. The truth is, there will never be a perfect moment to start. Life is messy and unpredictable, and there will always be obstacles and distractions vying for your attention. By constantly deferring action to tomorrow, you rob yourself of the opportunity to make meaningful progress today. I'm not good enough is a lie that holds you back from pursuing your dreams, embracing your true self, and living your life to the fullest. But where does this belief come from? For many of us, it stems from a lifetime of internalizing societal standards of success and perfection. We compare ourselves to others, measuring our worth against arbitrary metrics of achievement, beauty, and intelligence. And in our relentless pursuit of an unattainable ideal, we convince ourselves that we fall short. But here's the truth. You are more than enough, exactly as you are. Your worth is not determined by your accomplishments, your appearance, or any external validation. It's an intrinsic part of who you are. Unique, valuable, and deserving of love and respect. In today's fast-paced world, busyness has become a badge of honor, worn proudly as a symbol of productivity and success. You fill your calendar to the brim with commitments and obligations, constantly rushing from one task to the next in a never-ending quest to stay ahead. And amidst the chaos, you convince yourself that you're just too busy to prioritize the things that truly matter. But here's the truth. Busyness is not a badge of honor. It's a burden that weighs you down and prevents you from living fully in the present moment. It's a convenient excuse you use to justify your inability to make time for the things that nourish your soul and bring you joy. And in doing so, you sacrifice your happiness and well-being on the altar of productivity. Blame is a convenient escape hatch you use to absolve yourself of responsibility for your actions and their consequences. When things go wrong, it's easy to point the finger at others rather than facing the uncomfortable truth that you played a role in creating the situation. But in the long run, this refusal to take ownership of your actions only perpetuates a cycle of dysfunction. The truth is, you are not passive victim of circumstances. You are active participant in your own life with the power to shape your destiny through your choices and actions. How often do you catch yourself saying, I'll be happy when? It's a familiar refrain, one that hinges your happiness on external circumstances or future events. Whether it's landing the perfect job, finding the ideal partner, or achieving a certain level of success, you convince yourself that your happiness is contingent upon achieving some elusive goal. But here's the truth. Happiness is not a destination. It's a state of being that exists in the present moment. When you pin your happiness on external conditions, you set yourself up for disappointment and perpetual dissatisfaction. Even when you achieve your goals, the happiness you experience is quickly overshadowed by new desires. But what if you flipped the script and embraced the idea that happiness is available to you right now? What if you stopped waiting for some future event to give you permission to be happy and instead chose to cultivate joy and gratitude in the present. We are not static beings, but dynamic and adaptable creatures capable of remarkable transformation. Throughout our lives, we are constantly evolving, learning, and growing in response to our experiences and surroundings. Our brains are wired for neuroplasticity, 
meaning that they have the ability to rewire themselves in response to new information. So, why do you resist change? It's because you fear the uncertainty of stepping outside your comfort zone and confronting the unfamiliar. Change requires you to let go of old patterns and embrace the discomfort of growth, and that can be a daunting prospect. But here's the empowering truth. Change begins with a single decision, the decision to challenge your limiting beliefs and step into your full potential. Independence is often prized in our society, and asking for help is sometimes seen as a sign of weakness. When faced with challenges or difficulties, you may convince yourself that you don't need help. But here's the truth. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of strength. It takes courage to acknowledge your limitations and vulnerability, and even more courage to reach out to others for support. When you refuse to accept support from others, you deny yourself the opportunity to learn from their wisdom and experience. You also deprive others of the chance to offer their support and guidance, robbing both parties of the mutual benefits that come from genuine connection. You tell yourself, I'll be happy when others change. Although you cannot control the actions or behaviors of others, the belief that you'll be happy when others change often stems from a deeper need for validation and approval. You seek validation from others to fill a void within yourself, believing that their acceptance and approval will somehow validate your worth and significance. But true happiness cannot be found in the approval of others. It must come from within. You worry that you'll be perceived as foolish or naive for chasing your goals at an unconventional age, so you convince yourself that it's too late or too soon to start. Here's the truth. Age is just a number and it should never be a barrier to pursuing your passions or reinventing yourself. Whether you're in your 20s or your 70s, there is always room for growth, learning, and exploration. Some of history's greatest achievements have been made by people who defied conventional notions of age and refused to let it limit their aspirations. The reality is, that there is no right or wrong age to pursue your passions or reinvent yourself. Breaking free from the grip of this lie requires a willingness to challenge societal norms and embrace the uniqueness of your own journey. Whether you're dealing with stress, anxiety, or grief, you often plaster on a smile and insist that everything is okay even when it's not. But here's the truth. Denying your pain or discomfort only prolongs your suffering by pretending to be fine when you're not, you rob yourself of the opportunity to seek support and healing. You isolate yourself from others and internalize your struggles, believing that you must bear your burdens alone. Emotions are a natural and essential part of the human experience, and denying them only leads to greater turmoil and distress. So the next time you catch yourself saying, I'm fine, pause for a moment, and ask yourself, am I really fine or am I just pretending? Now, what are the toxic lies you frequently whisper to yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit subscribe, join our community, and together let's illuminate the world with the brilliance of understanding. Until our paths will cross again, may you walk in peace and light.